So I just came back from the hospital. My younger sister gave birth today. Beautiful baby girl. And she's doing good. And my sister, she's doing well, but birth is a miracle. But it is hard. It is hard. And I understand why many of you um, believe that abortion in some circumstances can even be compassionate. And I understand many of you feel that it is a necessary evil. But some of you, you're so gleeful about abortion. It's like a religion that you evangelize. And if you felt that abortion was a necessary evil, wouldn't you at least want to convince people to not commit the evil? It'd be like, not option A or B, but option Z, like, at the end. There's many of you who are not like that at all. My governor, Gretchen Whitmer, is one of those people. And she posted a thread that I just saw not too long ago. And in this thread, she's talking about things that are happening because of Prop 3 got passed and they're they're repealing all of these restrictions on abortion access and stuff. But things that they're repealing are informed consent laws. Um, so women can be informed, have time to kind of process and make sure they're making the right decision. Um, things that are regulations on abortion clinics, um, things that keep your taxpayer dollars from funding it. Maybe you feel like women should be able to do it but I don't want to fund this thing that I see as evil but you know they feel that you should even things that ban partial birth abortion though there's still like a federal ban in place I don't understand why you would want to get rid of it by the way if you don't know what that is that's when they deliver the baby feet first and then they drop something in the like the base of the spine and stuff and then they start sucking out the brain and then the skull collapses so Gretchen Whitmer is excited <laughs> excited um gleeful even um that she's gonna be able to expand abortion access in vulnerable communities and who are these vulnerable communities women of color women of color there was a, a young woman who died some years ago a black woman and she was a minor um and her parents didn't know she was having an abortion her boyfriend's sister took her to get one and she, the boyfriend was older than her, but, um, she died. She died. That clinic, um, ended up being shut down eventually. It's important to make sure that there are proper regulations for this stuff in place. That, um, even if you want to protect the practice of it for some reason, that you, you still make sure that it's a very regulated industry because we are talking about literally life and death, <laughs> literally life and death. But my question is, wh why are so many of these abortion advocates so focused on minorities? And people act like people on the right are so paranoid or whatever for mentioning it. But we just hear you. We hear what you're saying. And you're saying that you want to expand the abortion access, which that means more vulnerable people as they put it are aborting their babies right <laughs> black people are only 14 percent of the population of michigan we make up 56 percent of the abortions we are their target audience we are their target and i'm, I'm not saying it out of I don't know, that she's malicious, maliciously classes <laughs> and wants to make sure that they kill the poor people. I'm not saying that she's doing it because she necessarily wants to kill the black people, but, um, you know, they set up these shops in uh, particular neighborhoods like predatory lenders. They know where they can stack those black bodies, I suppose. And I don't understand why... There's such a joy <laughs> to make this happen rather than supporting options to make it not happen. Why did Gretchen Whitmer veto funds for pregnancy crisis centers? Why does she veto money to promote adoption over abortion? She's someone who would rather have abortion happen than not. Obviously. Because 
why why would you do everything in your power to make sure that it's not option Z or option M? Like if, if someone wants it to be option A, she doesn't want option A to be obstructed. And that's very strange to me. Very strange to me. But to all of you who think um, people on the right are paranoid or trying to misrepresent people when they bring up the fact that black people are disproportionately impacted by abortion, we are disproportionately your focus. We are disproportionately your focus. But you know, I heard a quote as of recently. It's not a new quote, but you know, because of situations in the news as of late i've been quoting it you can look it up to see who said it but we love death like our enemies love life and that is very much the abortion industry to a t i suppose last thing i want to note is that if you live in ohio and you think people are lying to you about how radical the abortion constitutional amendment is it's very similar to what happened in michigan people are not lying to you